All right, welcome to episode four in our 10-part series on cell division. And in this episode, we're going to introduce to you the concept of the cell cycle. All right, now you're going to see a graphic pop up on your screen with a definition of the cell cycle. And it's basically defined like this. It's the series of events of cell growth, replication, and finally cell division. Now the cell cycle can be broken into two main parts. The first part is called interphase. Interphase is the time where the cell is just doing its normal cell business. It's going to do replication, transcription, translation. Uh, if it's a plant cell, it's doing its photosynthesis. Uh, if it's a white blood cell, it's eating germs. It's just doing its normal everyday cell part. The second part of the cell cycle is the reproductive phase. And this is the M phase. Now M stands for mitosis. So sometimes this is called the mitotic phase. Okay, now remember mitosis we had on an earlier screencast. This is division of the nucleus because we need to make sure that each daughter cell um, gets a full set of, the, of a nucleus so that it can do all the DNA-related business. And then cytokinesis, which is the actual cell division where the, the mother cell is going to split into two daughter cells. All right, so the, the eukaryotic cell cycle contains normal everyday cell life, that's interphase, and then the actual reproductive part, which would be the M phase. All right. Now this graphic over here is typically what you'll see to describe the cell cycle. And remember it's got two parts, interphase and the M phase. Interphase is what, as you can see here, probably 80% of the cell cycle. And then the M phase, which is this little sliver right here, uh, the mitotic phase, this is the reproductive part. Now you'll notice most living things don't spend their entire life reproducing. They're going to spend the bulk of their time just doing whatever they normally do, and then occasionally they're going to reproduce. All right, so we're going to look at interphase proper on the rest of this episode. Okay, interphase is divided into one, two, three parts. And these are called gap phases for the most part. Okay, so let's go with red. The first one is called G1. And in G1, this is when the cell is going to grow. Okay, so the cell is eventually going to double its size. That's kind of the maximum size for a cell, twice its original size. All right, so as you can see here, things get duplicated. You got more cytoplasm, you got more organelles. Um, you're, you're going to have more ribosomes, et cetera, but you're not going to duplicate the chromosomes. That's going to occur in the S phase. S stands for synthesis. And when you do synthesis, remember that means to make. Well, what are you making during the S phase? You're doing DNA replication. You're making DNA because you're replicating it. Okay, so very important step is the S phase. You're beginning to prepare for mitosis. Now in the gap two phase, the cell is preparing for mitosis, okay? So it begins to produce the, the materials that are gonna be used during cell division. And this is mainly, if it's an animal cell, you're gonna duplicate the centrioles, and you're also gonna work on what is called the mitotic spindle. And these are mainly microtubules, that are going to be used to pull, whoops, we'll just say mitotic spindle, all right? Uh, so your central is replicated, and you're going to spell check it. And that's going to be done by a protein called the P53. And this is going to make sure that no genetic mistakes are passed on to the next generation. We're going to come back to P53 because it has a key job in preventing cancer, and we'll see how mutations can call that to be a uh, cause that to be a problem. Okay, I want you to pay attention over here to gap zero right there. Okay, a cell is going to go through G1 and it's going to uh, become twice its original size. Now it's got some choices to make. It's either going to prepare to divide by going through the S phase and the G2 phase, or it can go into the gap zero or G0 phase where it essentially just lives happily ever after. It's just going to keep continuing to do whatever its job is as a cell in the organism, but it's not going to divide. And a lot of cells in human beings are in this gap 
zero phase. Because if we had cells dividing all the time, my gosh, we'd be 10 foot tall and weigh, you know, 500 pounds or so. Okay, so in multicellular creatures, we have a lot of cells that are in this gap zero phase. Okay, this is a very important graphic to know. I want to make sure that you study this one so that you know what's going on. All right, until the next episode, we're going to catch you on the flip side.